Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Arpita Kamanapalli and I'm glad you're watching this video. In this video, I'll be talking about the benefits of exercise. Exercise traditionally has been associated with physical health, but we are learning that exercise has a more holistic effect on the human body and includes effects on psychological health as well. This means that exercise not only gives us a healthier body, but also a healthier mind. Here are seven benefits of exercising. Long life. Physical activity has been shown to help maintain a healthy body weight, maintain healthy bones, muscles and joints, promote psychological well-being and reduce the risk of certain diseases including some cancers. Research found that 150 minutes of moderate exercise that is about half hour 5 days a week increases lifespan by 3.4 years. Healthy heart. The heart is a muscle and needs to exercise to stay in shape. When it's exercise, the heart can pump more blood through the body and continue working at optimal efficiency with little strain. Regular exercise also helps to keep arteries and other blood vessels flexible, ensuring good blood flow and normal blood pressure and also cholesterol. Exercising 30 minutes a day or you can even break it up to quick manageable 10 minute sessions three times a day which will improve your heart health and helps reduce your risk of heart disease. Increase in energy levels. When we use our muscles in a manner that progressively increases their capacity for endurance or strength, the number of powerhouse cells that are called mitochondria in muscle tissue increases and the capillaries that provide blood flow to the muscles also increase in number all of which increases our overall energy levels. Improved mood and happiness. Exercise increases our blood flow to our brains, lifts our moods, forms new neurons and releases some vital brain chemicals known as endorphins. Exercise generates the release of serotonin, norepinephrine and dopamine in the brain. Exercise also increases the brain's learning and memory capacities. Better sleep. Exercise triggers an increase in body temperature and the post-exercise drop in temperature may promote falling asleep. Exercise may also reduce sleeplessness by decreasing arousal, anxiety and depressive symptoms. Exercise may reduce insomnia by its effect on body clock. For people with insomnia, due to the timing of their body clock, exercise may shift its timing depending upon the time exercise is performed. Increase in strength and flexibility. Strength training, whether you are lifting weights, doing body weight exercises or incorporating yoga moves, it will help improve muscle strength and muscle mass which is very important as we age. It also keeps bones strong as a great natural treatment for osteoporosis. Don't forget about stretching. Stretching increases body's flexibility helping everyday tasks become easier. It also sends more blood to your muscles, improving circulation and can lower the risk of cardiovascular diseases. Just few minutes of deep stretching every day can make a difference. Increase in immunity. Physical activity may help flush bacteria out of the lungs and airways. This may reduce your chance of getting a cold, flu or other illness. Exercise causes changes in antibodies, the body's immune system cells that fight disease. As these cells circulate more rapidly, they can detect illnesses earlier than they might have been before. The brief rise in body temperature during and right after exercise may prevent bacteria from growing. This temperature rise may help the body fight infection better. Exercise slows down the release of stress hormones. Some stress increases the chance of illness. So, lowering the stress hormones will protect against those illness. The best way to exercise is to select a consistent block of time at which you can exercise on a daily basis. Consider your physical ability, how much time you have and what you enjoy doing. Try to engage in a combination of vigorous and moderate aerobic exercises. Squeeze in strength training at least twice per week by lifting free weights using weight machines or doing body weight exercises. Remember to check with your doctor before starting a new exercise program, especially if you haven't exercised for a long time or having a chronic health problem such as heart disease, diabetes, arthritis or any other health conditions. I hope you'll be able to take these steps to improve your health. Here is a scripture to meditate on. 
Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble and He saved them from their distress. He sent out His word and healed them. Psalm 107, 19-21 As always, thank you for watching and sharing the video with your family and friends. I'll see you again in my next video.